Jack, I'd, I'd like to pick your brain on another riffing off the question here. So there, there might be data scientists who are maybe the first data scientist in an organization, or maybe they're one of the first hires of a cohort of people that yeah. are going to become a data team. And let's say these folks are in, maybe they get embedded inside an organization that has more of a traditional software engineering type of culture. Uh, what are some things that these practitioners can do to help change the mindset around you know development of machine learning systems for, for these software folks? I'm not sure if that question makes exact sense, yeah. but please, yeah. So uh, I think there's quite a few things, and I've been there before. I, I joined a, a team of four data scientists in a company that had 10,000 employees or 20,000 employees. So it, it's always a little bit of a challenge when you're the first team in, in even a small company or a big company, um, and you have to bring some of this change. I think there's a couple of things. So I think the first one is to recognize that in the engineering team, they are very responsive to the challenges that we have. And so it's more about providing guidance. And then usually they're really keen to help you along in, with that journey. All of the engineering teams I've worked with are always super excited to work on machine learning problems. So you usually have quite a lot of enthusiasm that from the engineering team that you can build off. And a, a couple of things that I always recommend is to always link it back to the impact that the model will have. So we've talked about monitoring, we've talked about deployment. If you keep thinking in terms of the business impact of your model, what it is that you're trying to achieve, that business impact will nearly always be monitored. It will be tracked. People are gonna have quite a high vested interest in that business impact. If you talk about fraud, there are gonna be whole teams that are responsible for keeping fraud low and they're going to be tracking this they're going to be monitoring it they're going to have existing systems in that area and so if you stay close to the business impact that your model will have you're also going to be able to bring in a lot of other teams that already exist in the company that might be using more traditional maybe statistical approaches not deep learning ones but you can work with them have their expertise on the monitoring, on the deployment, on the data side of things, and working with them to then build out your solution. And in a way, you're going to very quickly have internal advocates that are on your side to push the change forward. So I think really staying close to the business impact is something that becomes really powerful in driving change.